So the Bhagavatam is giving the example of the ideal king and the ideal citizens. The citizens are also, uh, they are also, their, their, their uh, whole goal in life is not simply economic development and sense gratification. They are also interested in spiritual emancipation. And when they see that the king is taking care of their spiritual needs, then the citizens are also satisfied. Otherwise, a, a society which is not based upon spiritual emancipation, but on other factors such as economic development, the society can never be peaceful. Nowadays, uh, uh, every year all over the world, they do a global ranking of which country is the uh, it, uh, it, uh, uh, they have a global ranking of uh, happiness index. So which country uh, scores how many marks on that happiness index is recorded and then they arrive at which is the happiest nation, which is the nation where the people are happiest. I think some country like Finland or something has been consecutively scoring uh, the number one position in the world over the last, I think, five, ten years, something like that. So if you look at how they measure this happiness index, they will have a list of questions that they ask the citizens. How much money you have? Do you have access to uh, good uh, medical care? Do you have a television at home? Do you have a fridge at home? You know, the, all these kind of things. Practically, the happiness of the people is measured in terms of their economic uh, position and how many uh, goods for sense gratification they have at their home. That determines the whether the person is happy or not. And you will see even in the happiest country in the world, people are committing suicide. If people are happiest in that country, why should they commit suicide? So, people don't have a proper understanding of what constitutes happiness, even that much sense is not there in Kali Yuga. People think simply if I facility for sense gratification, that is happiness. That's what people are wrongly uh, thinking. But in the olden ages, people very clearly understood that happiness means one has to become free from the influence of the three modes of material nature. And one should be, learn how to tolerate the miseries of material nature. And by learning to tolerate and having a proper, clear goal in life. What is the purpose of my life? My purpose of my life is to go back to Godhead. There is a life after this de death. This human form of life is temporary. This kind of understanding, because it was present in the, in the Vedic uh, system, in the society, every person in the, in, the, in, the, in the society would understand that life is very temporary and the sense gratification is not the is not the one which gives real happiness real happiness means satisfying vishnu because this understanding was there everybody had a common uh, understanding and because of that there would be there would be no conflicts because everyone's understanding was single everyone's understanding of what constitutes happiness was very clear in today's world my uh, one man's food is another man's poison. What is happiness for me is distress for you. And what is happiness for you is distress for me. So naturally, the, the current day society is so designed to create conflicts between individuals, communities, societies, nations. The, that's the way the world is currently, the whole society is structured. And so naturally, we have a lot of uh, conflicts, we have wars, we have all kinds of uh, economic uh, uh, wars going on, physical wars going on, all kinds of conflicts going on. So therefore, if we want real happiness and real prosperity like we are seeing in the case of uh, Swayambhuva Manu and the citizens of Bar Barheshmati, the only way is that the rulers have to take up study of the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam and they have to implement the, the, the uh, uh, principles which are given in the Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam. That is the only way that the whole world can become 
truly peaceful and prosperous and the citizens can become truly happy otherwise it is uh, the world is headed towards disaster <laughs> <laughs>